Tonight at 6, a story you'll see only on CBS News Miami. A South Florida man pushing back against a school bus fine after he says he did nothing to deserve it. And tonight, the driver insists the fine is human error and should be dismissed. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Thank you for joining us. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho spoke to the man who reached out to us for help. I know I didn't do anything wrong. Do you feel that you were improperly cited? Oh, uh, yes, of course. I'm going to dispute it. Joe Yap reached out to CBS News Miami after seeing our stories on Miami-Dade's new school bus ticketing program. He says this video provided by Bus Patrol shows what happened on October 4th. Yap is driving the white Honda Civic as the bus slows down before coming to a stop. I'm coming this way around 4 o'clock and then the bus, I noticed a bus here, it wasn't even stopped. And then I passed it. He thought that was the end of it until Yap received this notice of violation and a $225 fine in the mail from Miami Dade Police, citing a Florida statute. The statute states that when approaching a school bus with its stop signal activated, you must stop your vehicle and not pass until the signal is off. The cameras installed by Bus Patrol on all Miami Dade school buses are designed to detect vehicles that illegally pass stopped school buses. Rewatching the video from both angles, we see the bus still in motion and not fully stopped, with both the stop sign and arm extended until Yap's car is clear out of frame. A bus patrol spokesperson said, when our evidence capturing system flags a potential violation of Florida law, we forward video evidence to the MDPD for further action. Only the MDPD can decide if a citation is issued. Since the school year began, over 78,000 notices of violations have been issued. If nobody contests, that's more than $17.5 million collected. Do you think you could have done anything differently when you look back at the video? No, I did what I was legally supposed to do. Yap plans to contest the ticket, and if you get one of these tickets, you have the option like Yap and to contest it by mail by sending it to a processing center in Virginia, or you could wait and go to court locally, which could ultimately cost you more money. Bus Patrol tells us that they're looking into seeing how many people have contested these citations and ultimately how many were dropped. Meanwhile, Miami-Dade Police tells us that one of their officers must sign off and confirm what's submitted by Bus Patrol before issuing any fines. We will keep searching and digging for answers and, of course, keep you posted. Reporting from outside Miami-Dade Police Headquarters, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.